Hey, what's up everybody? Five reasons why you must buy silver right now in 2021. Yes, indeed, that's what we are gonna be talking about. Why everybody should be buying silver right now in 2021 when the price of silver, spot price of silver is $27, right around $27 an ounce, but with premiums, you're gonna be very lucky if you're able to buy said silver, this American Silver Eagle, or maybe a Canadian Maple Leaf for any less than about $35 to $40 an ounce. That's right. So obviously, I am not trying to encourage anybody to buy silver, encourage or discourage anybody to buy silver at these very high silver prices. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because I actually came across a video that was made in 2011. Now, I cannot in good conscience try to say that it's a good idea to buy silver. Obviously, this was a clickbait title. But I wanted to kind of go over the five or six things, the five things that this guy spoke about in this video from 2011. And I want you to tell me in the comment section below if any of these things kind of sound familiar with what is happening right now in 2021. Now, one of the things that he said, you must buy silver right now in 2011 when silver spot price was $37 an ounce. Now, silver after 2011, silver slowly went down from 30, from 40. It went up as high as $50 an ounce. Then it slowly over the next few years went down to 15 dollars in 2015 then it went up a little bit in 2016 went up to about 20 and then after that we all know most of us know in 2017 and 2018 the spot price came down to about 15 dollars on average about 15 dollars for the next couple of years so in this video, he said, you must buy silver right now because China has 14% of the world supply between China and India, 14% of all of the world supply. That was reason number one. Reason number two was supply demand mismatch. The supply can't keep up with the physical demand. And very few silver mines are actually producing silver. Silver is mainly a byproduct. Now I view silver as being a byproduct of other metals as a reason why there is more supply of silver because not only do you have your dedicated silver mines, but every time you mine gold or copper or zinc or, or whatever, or nickel, whatever the case may be, you can get silver from other metals as a byproduct. Um, and I, I love silver. I love buying silver. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate silver. I love silver but I like buying it at a better price. I don't like buying it when the price is at its, at its highest, at its peak, or going up. I like to buy silver on the way down and when it's at its cheapest. And I do believe silver, again, will be more affordable than it is now. Now, I could be completely wrong. Again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Definitely do your own research. And also he was talking about recycling. Silver is not recycled because it's too cheap. Gold is recycled because it's worth 
recycling, but silver is not recycled because it's too cheap. And even at $50 an ounce, he said, silver is still too cheap to recycle. So it's, it's in landfills. It's in, um, it's basically thrown away in the garbage. So less and less silver is out there because it's not recycled. It's just thrown away in garbage. Then they're one of the the other reasons was silver's uses. Now, I think every one of us can agree that silver has many, many uses. Silver's in cell phones, silver's in, you know, electronics, silver is in our vehicles, cars, batteries, electric cars need more and more silver. But I don't think that's a reason for silver prices to go higher. I think that that's more of a reason for silver prices to be held down so that the things that we buy on a daily basis, so companies that produce these items, cars, electric vehicles, batteries, cell phones, gadgets, electronics, um, stuff like that, that they don't have to buy it, that their cost stays down. You know, I heard a lot of people, I heard a few people saying Elon Musk should invest in a bunch of silver and buy a bunch of silver and uh, get the prices of silver to go higher. Why would he want to do that? Why would he want his cost, the cost of silver to go higher? I just think that that would make no sense for Elon Musk. Owning a company that produces electric vehicles, wanting the cost of silver to go higher, that just would not make much sense to me. And then the other thing that he said was um, investment. Silver is a uh, investment metal. Now, I do agree with that. I do agree that silver is more of an investment metal than gold. See, I view silver a little bit differently than other people in this community view silver. I view silver as a investment metal, not as much as money, Gold, I view as money. I think a lot of people can also agree with gold being a tier one asset. Gold is money. I view silver more along the lines as I view palladium and platinum as more of an investment metal, buy low, sell high. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Obviously, I am not suggesting anybody buy silver right now in 2011. I don't like to overstate silver, oversell silver. Silver doesn't need, as Salivate Metal has said many a times on his channel, silver doesn't need uh, to be oversold. It doesn't need us to try to sell silver. Silver sells itself. And I believe silver sells itself better for me, when the price is lower, even though a lot of people like to buy silver and it has much higher demand as the price is going up. But definitely, I'm going to link the, this video from 2011 in the description of my video. I encourage everybody to go there and check it out and see that he was saying the same things in 2011 that a lot of people in the comment sections and even other channels are saying right now that silver must be bought now because it is going away. The silver supply is, there's gonna be no more silver. There's gonna be no more silver. It's all gonna be sitting in our houses. It's all gonna be sitting in our cell phones and, and cars and you know electric vehicles and batteries and the industry is going to use it up and what the industry doesn't use up, it's going to be the rest of it is going to be with us. We're going to have it all. So check out that video. Let me know what you guys think. Post a comment on that video. Um, I'm going to look at this video in the next couple of days and see how many brand new comments are on this video. It's just amazing. Uh, the similarities between 2011, what people were saying back then, and what people are saying now. There wasn't a lot of YouTube channels out in 2011. Most of these YouTube channels 
started in 2013, 2014. Mine started in 2016. But this must have been one of the only YouTube channels around back in 2011 and 2010. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Appreciate everybody for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.